Hello guys and welcome to my Project Wax update for the month of June. What a wonderful So I have not updated this project in a few months. I think the last update was in March or April and I definitely finished some candles. I've also just kind of been using candles on the side, like not even thinking about a project, just like using them. So I have quite a few to update you on. I have some new candles that I'm put I'm putting in. And yeah, I think we actually have updated this like layout of our living room since the last time I talked to you guys. So we actually pushed the couches off of the wall and then we switched the long couches right here and then the big the small couch is right here and we move the ottoman so things are a little bit different um i'm trying to do my best with the ring light right here instead of facing the windows um just because behind this it does not look pretty so yeah this is a better background but anyways yeah let's just get started with the candle project pan which that's what this video is it's about trying to get through my candle collection and setting a certain amount of goal for monthly candles that I want to finish. So starting off, I have four candles that I finished since I last talked to you guys. And the first one that I did finish is Caramel Frappuccino. Now this one I finished off like literally right after the last update because we were right here and then I finished it. So it didn't take me long. Um, this one is just white caramel cold brew in my opinion. Um, rich cold brew coffee, frothy milk, sweet caramel syrup. So it's just like a super, like a frappuccino kind of scent. Super, super sweet. Um, not very coffee. It honestly wasn't my favorite and I probably won't get it again, which is sad because I used to love this scent, but now I'm more of a Paris Cafe girly. So next I finished off Saltwater Breeze and I'm actually super sad that I finished this because it's so good. So we started in the project right about here and then finished it up. The notes are fresh linen, violet leaves, and white water blossom. This was so good. It is like the perfect breezy, beachy, just like spa-like scent, and I loved it so much. So I will definitely be picking up Saltwater Breeze again. It was wonderful to have in the bedroom and in the bathroom while I like took baths. It was just like the perfect kind of intro into summer for me. So I totally loved this, and I thought I wouldn't like it, so I'm surprised that I did but I, I really loved it. The next one I'm also a little shocked about is chocolate drizzled popcorn from Goose Creek. So I did not like this candle up until about the halfway point, which is where I last updated you guys right here. And then I just totally got through it downstairs in the living room. I noticed every now and then when I would have this on, I would walk into the room kind of, you know, forgetting that I had a candle going, but smelling chocolate. And I'm like, why am I smelling chocolate? It's this candle. It didn't really smell like popcorn. It's just smelled like chocolate every now and then. And it was really nice. So I thought that was quite enjoyable. I might would pick it up again. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about Goose Creek candles anymore because for me to justify buying candles online, I usually have to buy in bulk, which is like six or more. And I don't like to buy candles in bulk anymore. I really only like to buy a couple at a time. So I don't know. Jury's out on Goose Creek, but I did like this candle and I'm surprised because I thought I wouldn't. And the last candle I actually finished today, which is a brioche French toast. That's what reminded me that I definitely need to give you guys an update, but we went from here to here and it was a wonderful candle. It burned really well, super duper strong, basically just like a maple syrup kind of scent. It's fluffy brioche toast, rich maple syrup, and a dollop of butter sprinkled with cinnamon. Definitely no cinnamon. But I get more of like a pumpkin pecan waffles feel with this one. It's slightly different, but it's still really good and it's very syrupy. So I loved that one. Okay, now we're going to move on. I think I only have these four um, that were left in the project. So let's go through the progress on those. We have Cozy Linen, which I didn't really burn that much just from here to here. I don't know. I haven't really been focusing on single wicks. It's honestly super strong. I have it in my office and it's not my favorite. I thought I would love it because it's next to the laundry room, but I feel like it's too strong for my office. So I might come bring it out here and just use it in like the kitchen or the living room or maybe even upstairs in the bathroom. But we'll see. I need to find a different spot for this because it doesn't really fit my vibe for my office. I'm more like a cozy scent for my office. So I don't know. I need to like repurpose the area where that one goes, but I still like it. And then we have Into the Night. So you guys, I don't know what is wrong with this new mic that I have, but it 
made the volume right here like break the speakers basically so i had to cut out me talking right here but i'll just insert my thoughts on into the night i'm actually going to take this out of the project wax because i feel like it's not really a candle that i'm focusing on using and it's more of like a special occasion scent it's very strong and sometimes headache inducing so i have to be in like the right mood to want to burn it so i'm just going to take it out and put it back into my collection um and i'm not going to focus on into the night anymore because i really didn't get a lot of progress on it from uh the last time i updated you guys anyways so we're just going to take it out of the collection or take it out of the project the next one i'm actually almost finished with it's blueberry marshmallow bar once again my mic was not working here so i'm just going to talk through blueberry marshmallow bar i got a ton of progress on this since the last time i put it in the project and i'm pretty much almost done i can see the wick clips on it it is such a yummy gourmand blueberry scent and it smells so good so i'm really enjoying it and it's probably going to be finished honestly on the next burn and my other office scent which this really tells you how cozy i want the vibe in there is pistachio and toasted vanilla this one's so yummy and i know this is a winter packaging but i think originally it came out in like the early spring releases so I think it's more like a year-round candle. It's just like a super simple sweet vanilla scent. It's salted pistachios and toasted vanilla almonds. Like it's so simple, but it's so nice and cozy and gentle. It's a very gentle scent, which I love. So progress on this one, we went from here to here and I will definitely continue to use it in the um, office. And I think, yeah, I love it so much. So it's definitely gonna be finished up soon. So next I'm going to be putting in these two from the summer 2022 collection now these are like this beautiful watercolor packaging and we have red white and blue cake this is red raspberries ripe blueberries and whipped vanilla cream with with soft white cake so it's just like a blueberry cake or a berry cake which is perfect for fourth of july so this one is definitely going to replace blueberry marshmallow once i finish it and it'll go in the living room or the kitchen because it is that like cakes and i feel like it's going to be perfect and I will start burning it now, you know, in preparation for 4th of July, but I think this kind of like fruity cake scent is great for year round. So I will probably aim to finish it in July, but we'll see how it goes. I am right about here on the packaging. So I have used it before. Um, I remember liking it. So. so the other one in the collection is buttery popcorn. Now I don't know how I'm going to feel about this, but I feel like movie nights this is going to be really nice or gaming nights it's going to be really nice and that's what i've used it for like in the past it's melted butter fresh popcorn and a sprinkle of sea salt i just really need to like finish this candle honestly but it's like really like fresh butter it smells like the movie theater butter that you like squeeze onto your popcorn yeah it smells like salty butter it's so funny like it's just a funny candle so yeah, I'll try to start using this. I feel like it might even be good to like pair with dinner. I never burn candles like while I'm cooking or while we're eating dinner. I'll burn them after we're done eating or before I start cooking because I don't like those scents to mix, but I feel like this like buttery scent would actually mix really well with me cooking. So maybe I'll try that. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Um, I've used it a couple times before, so it is right here, but yeah, we'll see how much I can get through of this one. I really honestly think that it's going to be a perfect like movie night weekend kind of candle. So we'll see if I can use that as the vibe for the candle. This next one I have been using like crazy. I love this candle so much. I bought a backup of it last year when it came out because I had already gone through one. So this is Santorini Coast. It's so cute. The notes are creamy coconut, almond blossom, and warm vanilla. It is just this wonderful, dreamy, creamy coconut. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It kind of smells like a coconut daiquiri, but without the alcohol portion. Oh, it just smells so good. So I love this one. I've been using it in the bathroom and in the bedroom, and we are right here. This is just the epitome of summer. Of what i want summer to smell like that's santorini coast really loving it already and i'm definitely going to get through it pretty quickly same goes for mahogany coconut now this one i've already been using downstairs in the kitchen i love it so much <laughs> we're already halfway through with it so it's right about here it's more than halfway through actually it's creamy coconut mahogany woods and english lavender now this is like the fresh version of santorini coast like that's like the gourmand version this is the fresh it's so good. I love this one. 
this one is what I want my house to smell like, like perpetually. I always want my house to smell like this when I have guests coming over and stuff. This is such a nice scent. It's like upscale. It's fresh and inviting and it's clean smelling. I love this so much. I do have a backup of this one. So if I finish it, I will probably just go on to the next one. Um, but yeah, mahogany coconut, loving it so much. I'm definitely going to be finished with it soon because I'm going through it like super quickly. So that is everything for my project wax update for June. I have seven candles that I'll be focusing on using in the next month. I can definitely get through at least two or three and focus on those, but that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, let me know down below what candles are you using this summer? And I know that we have some fall preview candles coming out soon, or they're already out and people are picking them up. I'm not quite ready yet. I'm really enjoying my coconut candles. Okay. I'm really enjoying them, but I'm probably going to transition to fall early August like I usually do. So, you know, I'm prepping my collection to be able to purchase more in the fall. So, Anyways, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.